Yo, what are you all doing back here? Excuse them. I don't know. They weren't invited. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Happy Fourth of July! Woo! America! This came in. Hey, what are you doing here? This came in. So we have ourselves an island now. That's pretty tight. Tomorrow is Fourth of July. Today we are throwing a barbecue in our backyard. We just had a backyard makeover. I made a video about it. It's coming out soon. But it's my first time ever having a barbecue. I've never personally owned a barbecue before. I don't think I've ever used a barbecue. I've watched people use barbecues. I wanted to try some next level hot dog toppings. Like not just the typical ketchup and mustard, though we will have ketchup and mustard. I wanted to set up like a hot dog bar on this island for people where we could do different types of hot dogs. Originally I picked hot dogs because I wanted to try the new Beyond Meat sausages, but they're all sold out everywhere and I found out they were sold out after I'd already purchased all the hot dog topping ingredients. I got these Choferky beer brats and I got these Life Light Smart sausages. For the meat eater, Steve got these chicken and apple sausages. Would really like to try the Beyond Meat ones though, but you can't have it all on Tasty Tuesday. You can only have some. So today we are trying the Hawaiian hot dog, the Elote hot dog, and the banh mi hot dog. And just like true Americans, we're taking all these different countries flavors and we're throwing them on a hot dog. America, let's make this dish. Step one, the first hot dog we are gonna make is the Hawaiian hot dog. The first thing we need to make for that is the pineapple jalapeno relish. I already did some prep work here, you're welcome for that. We got some pineapple planks that have been skinned and then sliced into half inch planks. We have some onion rings that have been sliced into half inch onion rings. And we have a quarter cup of pickled jalapeno slices that have been chopped. Wow, Martha Stewart over here. Professional kitchen, professional prep work. That's what you're getting here on Tasty Tuesday. What, what? Maybe you don't get good audio, but you get professional everything else. Hello, America. What are we doing again? We're gonna take a clean, dry, cast iron skillet. Hi, you've been cast. Welcome to the show. And we're gonna put it on medium high heat. Whoa, you need to stop blinking. It's some people off. Sorry about that. You weren't invited. Next, we're gonna take a medium bowl and we're gonna throw those prepped ingredients all up in there. Get rats, get rats, get rats. Oh, no, no, wait. Oh, not the pickled jalapenos. Shit. You weren't invited. Professional kitchen. Sometimes in America, you screw up and you call it an innovation. Whoa. Okay, so just the pineapples and the onions. Not even all of the ingredients. Just two ingredients. Just a bowl with two ingredients in it. Are we getting this. Also, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now it's gonna be a bowl with three ingredients. Hello, we can count, America. Now we're just gonna toss them around. Whee! Melting pot. I wish we were a melting pot of pineapples and onions. That is the best melting pot I can think of. Maybe some avocados too. They can come in here, they're invited. Okay, what next? Season with salt and pepper. Five ingredients. Oh, excuse me. I got a rug in here. Did you notice a sound difference? I'm not using a loft today. I'd like to keep you updated on the sound over here on Tasty Tuesday. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. Now we're gonna grill our pineapples and our onions. It's a party! It's charred, whoa! I should use cast iron skillets more often. They just like know what they're doing in the kitchen. I guess you could say they're skilled it. You could say that. You could, you could say that. And look at that. I think they're done. Wow, these are looking real nice. Pineapple, you looking pineapple. Oh, there I go, flirting with food again. Sometimes I wish it would just flirt back. Can't have it all. So we will settle for what we can get, America. Okay, our pineapples and onions are done being charred. It's very smoky in here now. Holy balls. I'm gonna move this to a less hot place. You take your time over there. Now we're gonna take our grilled pineapples and onions and we're gonna coarsely chop them. Of course! Are you still here? Ah, no! This rug is new! I've never coarsely chopped charred pineapple before, but it was the first time for everything. I think when, you, when it says coarsely chops, it means you just kind of move your knife around on a cutting board, yeah? We're doing it! Coarsely chopped! More coarse than golf over here! <laughs> It's a golf joke. Moving on, now we're gonna take our little baby pieces of pineapples and onions and we're gonna put them into a medium sized bowl or maybe a small bowl. What do we need? Put them into a bowl of your choice. We make our own rules here in this kitchen. Just like America made its own rules after it separated from England. Also, we're making a goddamn mess. Just like America did when it separated itself from England. 
<laughs> We're trying really hard to make this relatable. Look at that! So beautiful! I just realized with this move that I am shooting this in 60 frames per second, and I'm sorry about that. But maybe we could do some cool slow mo here. Make it all worth it, you know? Wow! Whispering soft, alluring signs, wrapping you around my finger. Did you feel like you're at a party? Cool. And now we're gonna add our quarter cup of chopped jalapeno slices. Boom! We were so impatient before. I'm gonna give it a good stir as we admire how much counter space we have. Wow! I wish you could smell this through the screen. It smells exactly how you think it smells. Amazing. It smells like my favorite pizza. Pineapple mushroom pizza. You know, the best pizza. Great. I think that's enough. Did I say season with salt already? Season with salt! I don't know how much. It doesn't even say. I just have to pretend that I know. But look at that! Beautiful! Next, also for the Hawaiian hot dog, we are gonna make a honey mustard paprika sauce. This one's much easier. It's literally just honey mustard and paprika. Half a cup of honey mustard. Do it. Come on, mustard. This is gonna be like half of this bottle. Oh, this is hard to squeeze. I think I can mustard the strength, though. Merga. Oh, excuse you. We've all been there. One and a half teaspoons of paprika. Are you doing it? Oh, damn. That's a sexy color. Paprika, you sexy. You love me? Why doesn't my food ever love me back? We're just gonna mix that all up. You guessed it. Or you didn't. Ooh, that is an interesting flavor. Like in a good way. I could see how that could complement the pineapple mixture. So when people go to make the Hawaiian dog, they're gonna take their hot dog and then they're gonna put on some of this and some of this. And boom, you got a Hawaiian dog. If you want to be really fancy, you could probably get Hawaiian sweet bread buns too. And you'd be extra Hawaiian and extra fancy. Hot dog number two, the elote hot dog. We're going to Mexico for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just in Mexico, did not have elote. Pretty disappointed. Elote, for those of you who don't know, is a corn on the cob that is covered in mayo and then has tahini on it, sometimes chili powder. So, for our elote dog, we are gonna use corn salsa to represent the corn. I have two separate kinds. I didn't make these, I got these at Trader Joe's. I'll show you the jar if you want to. Whoa, excuse you, why are you trying to run away? Corn and chili, tomato -less salsa, and this cowboy caviar, which is more of a southwestern corn, black bean, and pepper salsa. They both taste really similar, but have this one has a more smoky taste, this one is more like corn, like you're straight up getting corn. Mayo represents the mayo. I bought some of Trader Joe's, uh, Joe's? <laughs> Trader Joe's vegan spread, uh, mayo spread. I've never used this. If you like mayo, get your kind of mayo that you like. I don't really, I don't like mayo at all, but I do know that people like elote, tahini, and we also have some sliced tomatillo wedges. It is Interesting. It's got a crunch to it. It's a little bit sour. Or maybe I just don't have a ripe one. I don't know. I don't know how to judge a tomatillo. But here it is. Those are the toppings we have for our elote dog. And lastly, we have a banh mi dog. Vietnam, baby. Nom, nom, nom. Sorry. A banh mi is a sandwich that they serve in Vietnam. All right, banh mi up, daddy. The first thing we need to make for our banh mi dog is a peanut sauté sauce. So get yourself a bowl and put these ingredients in there. One third cup of smooth, natural peanut butter. Brand new jar of peanut butter. I could do that thing where you like mix the oil in there. You never get it quite right. It always is like a little too dry at the bottom by the end. Slow mo party. I'm a lonely heart, heart feline. Until you quit smiling and I leave behind. One fourth cup of coconut milk, unsweetened. This is left over from when we made ice cream last week. One garlic clove minced. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And one tablespoon of maple syrup. Oh, and some kosher salt. <sighs> Doesn't say how much. Kosher salt, we got it. Is that enough? Yeah. And we're just gonna mix it up. Saute all day. This is what it's looking like. Hello, are you delicious? Mmm, yes. And for the rest of the toppings for our banh mi dog, we have coarsely chopped cilantro, coarsely chopped peanuts, coarsely chopped pickled carrots, and some finely sliced red chili peppers. Pretty much the same ingredients that we had on our pho a couple weeks ago on Tasty Tuesday. That, along with the peanut saute sauce, is our banh mi dog. Wow, look at this selection. Banh mi, I hardly know me. Okay, so we got all of our hot dog toppings for our next level hot dogs that we're making. Um, I guess the only thing left to do is make the hot dog part, so let's do that. I cut one hot dog into three pieces because I didn't want to eat three different hot dogs. Yeah. But 
Are you ready for this stuff? I'm ready. This week I'm making epic next level hot dog toppings. Oh, and we're gonna wow. see what, yeah. Cause ketchup and mustard, everyone does that. Everyone knows that. Maybe it's there's old, a reason why. Maybe it's there's tired. A reason. It's gotta go to bed. Today we're gonna try three different types of hot dogs. The first one is a Hawaiian. It's got a pineapple jalapeno relish with a honey mustard mm, paprika sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, mahalo for this. Yeah, that's really good. Pineapple is one of my favorite. Is there honey good. mustard in here too? Uh huh. Weird. It's good. Mm hmm. It's like a pineapple ham pizza. I was just gonna say it tastes like the kind of pizza I order. But yeah, with the hot dog in there, it does taste like like a pineapple, like a Hawaiian pizza. If you like Hawaiian pizza, this is a hot dog for you. Plus, Definitely make this. These were grilled really, really well. Yeah, the grillman over here. The grillman did a good job. I like it. I could eat a whole of the hot dog with that. Next, we have an elote dog. Have you had elote before? No, of course not. Okay, elote is corn on the cob with mayo and then, um, ooh, I forgot to put tahini on yours. Tahini seasoning. So for, for our elote hot dog, we have mayo, corn relish, and um, a fresh tomatillo with tahini. Dang, dude. The artisan hot dog, right? Uh-huh. Yep, yep, that tastes like a corn on the cob hot dog. Mm-hmm, that's good. Dude, I can't decide. These are all so good. I guess it's not a competition. You can make all of them. Traveling all the way around the world, we are going to Vietnam for the banh mi dog. You like Ooh, banh mi's? I love banh mi's. Okay, so for this banh mi dog, we got a peanut saute sauce. Well, actually, could you explain the banh mi sandwich when you when you eat it? What's it, what's it taste like? It just tastes like really good. Well, what's in it? It's got meat, it's got um, cilantro, it's got Jalapeno, the way I like it. I think okay. most of them have that. Okay, cool. So this one, our- Pickled carrots, I think. So our banh mi dog has a peanut saute, cilantro, sliced chili peppers, crushed peanuts, and pickled carrots. Tight. Right? I'm most excited for this one because I love a banh mi. All right. Banh mi. Does it taste like a banh mi? The first bite was like that, but then it got overwhelmed by the peanut butter sauce. Mmm. Oh. I would put a lot of peanut butter sauce on it because I love peanut butter. I think it's good, but I think less peanut butter sauce. Got it. I say more peanut butter sauce. Dang. It's so good. Wow. I liked all of those. Those were all so good. Would you say you like those better than ketchup and mustard? Or are you on a They're just different tastes, you know what I mean? Because we will also have ketchup and mustard, but... It's just a different thing. I would say the Hawaiian dog, I 100% that's my new favorite hot dog. It's good. I bet you can mix and match too. You could have all sorts of fun on your barbecue day. Hey, America. I would say the Hawaiian one was my favorite too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I love the heat on the last one. Yeah. Lot. Well, you could also add, turn up the heat, turn down the heat. It's all like make your own. Yeah, that's true. We're going to have a bunch of people over here. Hopefully they either into this hot dog bar idea that I'm doing. Yep. Um, if not, you know, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be hungry. Gonna be they're going to be real, real hungry. I have a lot of booze though too. <laughs> so maybe they'll More booze and food. Well, subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. Maybe we'll have a competition with some other sorts of foods. You don't know me. <laughs>